Dr. Dre's divorce to his estranged wife has been major news since she filed just six months ago. The couple, who split after 24 years of marriage, have been in the press this week as Nicole Young is contesting the prenup, which was signed a quarter of a decade ago. Dr. Dre is said to be trying to push through a five-day trial to prove the validity as soon as possible. Lit is joined today by our favorite lawyer, Kelly Chang Rickard. Welcome, Kelly. Ow! Hey, Hi, Kelly. you guys. I'm your favorite lawyer. Hi. Thank you so much. Oh, you. you absolutely are. This story is um, wild. I, I really mm -hmm. can't believe it. How much money is being contested in this divorce? One billion dollars. Oh my. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody help me. So much money. Yeah. So. Nicole can contest this prenup, but why would she? Because assuming, assuming you go into a prenup, you, you, would, you would only sign it if you think it's fair for both parties, right? What, is, what That's do you exactly think is her right. thinking and in, so, in contesting yes, this? And so yes, you can contest the prenup, but you're not gonna be good at it and you're gonna lose. I honestly think the prenup is valid. She was represented by attorneys. I understand she's alleging now that the attorneys were picked by Dr. Dre. Uh, but Dr. Dre has perfect representation, Laura Wasser. So I'm sure this trial will push through and they're gonna say the prenup is valid. You signed it. Mm. Now I'm, I'm curious to know, in the state of California, what do you have to do mm -hmm. to get a prenup overturned? Ah, uh, well, there are a lot of things that, let me just talk about the things that you can do to challenge a prenup and be successful at it. Okay. So I think the number one reason prenups are challenged is that the, uh, the person did not make a full disclosure of their assets. Because at the end of the day, when you're signing a prenup, what you're doing is waiving your rights. And so the only way you can validly waive your rights is that you fully saw what the other side disclosed. So if they can say they didn't make a full disclosure, I didn't understand how much mm. he was worth, and so, you know, lack of full disclosure would set aside a prenup. I don't think that's what happened here. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry, but how does Laura Wasser have the time to have all of these clients? <laughs> right. I, that's what I like, want to know. Um, I think she has a lot yeah. of help. So she has very capable associates and staff in the office. That's the mm. only way that she can have all these awesome clients. Okay, good, good. I'm glad that they're still getting full attention. And we know Dr. Dre sold mm -hmm. his share in Beats for a pre-tax profit of $585 million. But how much of this could be Nicole's if the prenup is overturned? We know, I mean, courts can be unpredictable. Well, I think it would depend what their prenup says. If their prenup has okay. a clause that waives community property and keeps all of his separate assets separate, or one of his likeness being whatever, then I don't think she would be entitled to any of it. But I'm sure the prenup has a clause that establishes what will be community. So depending on what the prenup says, that's what she's gonna get. Clearly, the prenup probably doesn't probably says she's limited in what she's gonna get. That's why she's challenging it. Um, because it is going to uh, trial, hopefully, Kelly, will we actually find out what makes up the prenup? Like what conditions? Um, they. It, I don't know if the press is going to be inside the courtroom. Um, so far, they haven't made the prenup public. Uh, I think you might be able to see it because the trial is public. So there would be transcripts and I'm sure TMZ or some other news source will get a hold of it. But yeah, we will probably mm -hmm. be able to see what's inside the prenup when the trial gets going. Mm, okay. Kelly, why do you think Dr. Yes. Dre is aiming to get this five day trial do you think he's like worried about like the overall outcome? No, I think he just I've wants to get the it. thing over with. Also, Dr. Dre is paying two million bucks a month in alimony right now. Did you know that? So I think the sooner no, we not get a clue. this whole divorce See, Tell settled, us more about how much she's getting regardless of this. Because she's, she must still be getting money from him, right? She is. So at the outset of a divorce, there's temporary orders that are entered until the final judgment when all of the issues are resolved. And so at this point, he's paying her a temporary alimony amount of two million bucks a month. So the longer she can drag it out, the longer she receives $2 million a month. That's why she's I know pushing that's right. for a public trial. Because I know that's public right. trials are not being set right now in COVID. 
Right. Okay, and let's say that this doesn't happen and the prenup stays. Do you know how much she would get? She would just be limited to what was established in the prenup. So as soon as we see what the prenup says, she's going to get what a prenup says. She's not going to get a dime over that. If she's successful okay. at setting aside the prenup, then it'll be a little bit more messy because now we have to adjudicate under the law what she gets. The prenup changes mm, wow. the law. So if the prenup is valid, it's going to go by the prenup. If the prenup is invalid, then we go by the law. And then the next step would be, what does the law say? So right now he's pushing for a five day wow. trial. And as soon as we figure out if the prenup is valid or not, we go forward. Hmm. So we've seen in the past week Kim Kardashian posting pictures of her with her children and some people are speculating she may be doing this in case there's any sort of custody battle. Whereas Dr. Dre has leaked an upcoming release with lyrics which really cut to Nicole's character. Here are some of the lyrics we can broadcast. Trying to kill me with them lies and that perjury, he then goes on, in ICU deathbed in some money bleep, greedy bleep, take a pick. Can these lyrics be used in court? I don't see why not. <laughs> I think those are great lyrics and it goes to the heart of how, what he's feeling. So yeah, she can use, he can mm. use those lyrics. That's how he feels that she's treating him. Plus he doesn't name her, right? Mm. And is that the, is that the big thing is that he does not name her? Because we assume a certain amount of acrimony if people are parting ways, but whatever they say in public, if it's, if it's just kind of opinion, is that, completely okay in the public arena or or does it change things in the courtroom so you know if we're talking about defamation usually it's it would go much deeper than that i think an artist singing about his feelings does not qualify for defamation and also he doesn't really mm. call her any names or reveal any private facts about her he's just saying how he feels so i think under the law he's totally okay okay so, I mean, for me, my question to you would have been like, like, should Dr. Dre like be careful with writing lyrics about the situation? Would the same advice apply for, for Kanye with Kim Kardashian? Well, I always advise people to be careful because once it's out there, it's out mm -hmm. there. I don't know if this couple mm -hmm. has kids, but you know, you don't want to be bashing the mother of your child. So yeah, I think that you have, you should be careful and never call people names. It goes back to what I say, always think once, twice, and three times before you post on social media, just be careful. Um, but yeah. Taylor Swift yeah. does it all the time. She's always writing about her exes. I don't see why Dr. Dre can't. Good point. Ooh, Kelly. Good point. Okay, Kelly. we love and it. I love Thank Taylor. you so much for I'm giving us this insight. Oh no, we know. We, we, we say the same things. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and giving us insight onto this divorce. Guys. It's nuts. Thank you for having me. Oh, we me. love seeing you Thanks, too. Kelly. <laughs> yes. We'll keep all the literati up to date with any news of these divorce proceedings. Crazy stuff. A billion dollars. Wow. Crazy. I, I'm just... Two million dollars a, a month? Month. <sighs> but she must Sign think it's unfair, right? Up. Nicole must think that the no. current balance, the current dispersal balance is oh. unfair or else she, she would just be more money. Oh, clearly. Yeah, yeah. Clearly. Something's yeah. going on. Well, coming up, are actors boycotting the Golden Globes? Could we see a walkout? Keep watching.